Hey guys, this is Carl McLarty, McLarty Films. Uh, today I want to share with you this uh, product, which is called the Lab Pano, which is the company, and it's the Pilot 1EE model. And this camera here is the uh, new version of the Pilot 1. That camera had some problems with a mounting piece or something, so they basically updated the camera, and this is the new and improved Pilot 1. It was just released on October 12th, so this is brand spanking new. As you can see, it, it has a touch screen here, so you can completely operate the camera independently of the cell phone app. Because it's basically like a little miniature iPhone screen. And so here you can see, and I can do all my adjustments, HDR, everything, voila, right here on the screen. So that's one of the reasons why I love this camera is because of the uh, touch screen. It's very, very convenient and easy to use. Now IP65, so the camera protects against water, dust, and is great for shooting in outdoor environments. And while I was shooting it, it actually started raining, so I did put it to the test. Um, it was it was a light rain, um, as as it usually it sprinkles here a lot in Portland, and I had a little bit of cover under the bridge, so the camera has some waterproof protection now. The thing that I like about this this version is that it's uh, it's much smaller. This thing is light. I think it's 395 grams, less than a pound. It's very convenient when you're walking around and you're doing virtual tours or you're doing your Google Street View. I um, I put it in a little box like this, and um, that's how I carry it around. So it, it is much lighter than the first generation Pilot Era. Um, but with that, that means it's gonna have a smaller battery. So if you talk about the battery life here, the camera, I think they say it lasts for an hour and a half to two hours. I went out today for two hours, shot a virtual tour, and um, I had plenty of battery left over, but I was shooting photos and HDR photos um, without shooting video. Uh, and if you do run out of power, there is a USB-C port here and you can um, charge the camera while you're shooting. It has an external heat sink for live streaming or for just, uh, you know, if you're, if you're running video for a long time and you don't want it to overheat. So the camera dissipates heat um, when it gets hot through this aluminum piece here and this is go connects to your tripod. So another major, major improvement on this camera is that it has um, the internal GPS. So with that, you get very precise pinpoint accuracy and um, they have their own proprietary virtual tour software called the Pilot Tour. Their software has something called a V-SLAM algorithm. It automatically generates a virtual tour for you. You can control the camera with the phone app or the way I like to do it is I just set it on a timer. There's a third method and that's hide the photographer mode and then you just have to stand in two different places and then it, it stitches and it kind of paints you out of the picture. And I uploaded it now to the uh, Lab Pano Pilot Tour website and it's crunched together the data. It creates a link or you can embed directly into a website. Made a virtual tour and I sent an email to myself which I can forward to my client. Um, here's the exterior and um, you can see there's a little dot on the floor and those are my links to my different uh, photospheres, my little hot spots. So if I click on this one, I'm gonna go here and you can see that um, some of them are stacked together, like I took multiples here, so that's kind of a mistake, but it put them both together. And then here, the angle, it's hard to see, um, but where is it? Oh, see, so I went back downstairs. So some of the uh, spots show through the walls, which, so you can see those there. That's, those are the bedrooms upstairs, so it's not quite right, but that's the way it is now. I just talked to someone from Lab Panel and they said that they're working on this and it will be improved. And also, they're working on a 3D version of the tour. It also worked just going upstairs. I didn't have to, oops, I didn't have to tell it anything special for, um, upstairs and downstairs, I just figured it out. And so look, I can jump downstairs and back upstairs. 
Yeah, and I, I didn't have to program any of that in. It was all automatic. If your client has an iPad in hand, that's how easy it is for them to go through the property or to show to a potential buyer. One problem that I did have was I tried to do the, the pilot tour outdoors and I did one under, under the uh, bridge there and then also on, on another bridge in Portland, Bridgetown. And it was having trouble establishing the initial GPS lock, which it needs. Um, however, I, I, did, I did get it to work, but it's, it can be frustrating. And later um, I found out that the software struggles when you have a bunch of open spaces. So exteriors, it's not the greatest. It's, it, it, you know, it may or may not work. But for interiors, it locked on very quickly. I mean, within, I would say 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Outside, I was messing around with it for a few minutes to get my first establishing shot. Camera is constantly getting updates by the developers, which is really cool. You'll see a little red dot on the screen, and that means you need to update your system. Every couple of weeks, <laughs> yeah, it's that frequent, you get um, a, a notification that there's been a new update. And usually that's from users feedback of what they would like to see improved in the camera. And they're really good about having the engineers um, get on get on it and um, fix whatever is not working or improve, improve things to make it easier to use. And also the camera comes with an open API, which means that um, you, if you're a developer or an engineer, um, you can actually create customized function customized functions for your business or, or your client. The camera also does 8K live streaming. I haven't tried that. They have their own player to, that enables you to stream at 8K. What I did do was I logged into my Facebook account and I was able to stream at 4K. And it was very simple as, you know, literally you, it takes about a few minutes to set up and then you can uh, go live in 360 anytime you want. And the reason why it's, it, this camera does so well at um, live is because they do real stitching. So this camera was the first camera to do real-time 8K um, stitching, not this camera, but the company. And so then they're, they're taking advantage of that for live streaming. So because it can, they can stitch so fast, um, you can go live, which is pretty amazing. The camera has nine axis gyroscope inside, which it gives it uh, stabilization. And that's uh, good if you're moving. So say you're live streaming and someone's on a skateboard or rolling around or, or whatever you're doing, you're moving and walking and talking. Um, you could go live that way and um, you'd have stabilized video. Now I, I usually, I generally don't like to have my camera move when I'm shooting. I usually plan it on a light stand and on, on a tripod, you know, and um, because I'm sensitive in VR to, to movement, any kind of movement at all. So I don't like moving 360 cameras, especially when I'm watching it in VR. My final words on the camera. Um, this camera is great for you know, virtual tours. I mean, that's, it's, it's, it's gonna be a monster when people find out how easy it is to use and convenient. Because now the software is just as important as the uh, hardware and cameras. And they really have pushed, pushed the um, virtual tours, the pilot tour. And I think that that is, uh, that's probably the coolest thing about this. And also the live. I'll be posting more content with the camera uh, videos in 8K, which you can watch on YouTube and that's available on my YouTube channel, McClarty Films. So check it out. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Peace.